In this video, we're gonna walk you through how to pull real estate property information, specifically for vacant land and residential properties. We first will discuss how to use filters to spit out your property records that you are looking for. Then we'll analyze your records to make sure it's exactly what you're looking for. And the goal is to get the most refined data possible to maximize your marketing spend and time when you're cold calling, texting, or sending mail to these leads. Then we'll also discuss skip tracing these leads to get their phone numbers so you're able to cold call and text them as well. All right, so let's get right into it. The software that I'm using here is thelandportal.com. It's the land portal and this is really good for vacant land search It's also good for residential properties and just the overall property database So as you see here on the left, we have filtered search list view order history skip trace and then the profile So for filtered search, this is what we're going to use for here The first thing we need to do is discover a county We're going to hit or discover a zip code. We want to target. So the first step is your market selection Where are you targeting to buy your land? Where are you targeting to buy your real estate? That is the number one thing you need before coming to this process So once you have your area selected you can come over to thelandportal.com to dive in and get all the records and any records you need So for the sake of this video, let's use Butler County, Ohio That's just one county removed from Cincinnati, Ohio so if you just type in in the search bar in the top left, Butler County, Ohio, it will pop up. You can click into it. The county will pop up. You can get a good visual representation of what's going on. You can zoom around. You can go in the cities. You can even zoom in further and get a good grasp on the parcels that are in this area and just really figure out what you're targeting. And within Butler County, there is a bunch of zip codes as well. So if you wanted to go more refined, you can go down to zip code and subdivision base as well. So let's say we wanted to target a zip code. We'll just pick a zip code within Butler County or within the area that we're interested in. Whether you're targeting a county or zip code or city, it all is the same process. You just need to come up in the market selection with where exactly you're targeting. So for the sake of this, I'm gonna go countywide because I'm looking for vacant land. And typically for vacant land, I'm searching countywide rather than zip codes. If you guys are looking for apartments or multifamily type of properties, you might wanna do zip code or even subdivision type of market selection. But for the sake of this, since we're using land, let's stay countywide. So the next thing we want to do is go to filtered search. I know I want Butler County. I did my market selection already and I know I'm looking for vacant lots. So at the top here, there's a vacant lot button. You can also search by building count. You can search by acres. You can search by improvement value, last sale date, what subdivisions it in, what is the land use activity? Is it cropland? Is it a farm? Is it woodland? What's the activity? And you can search by a ton of different things on here. This vacant land button has been the most accurate and I like the broad approach. I like to target all land and kind of see what comes back. So I target agricultural land. I target woodland. I target croplands. I target everything and see what comes back. Whether it's commercial lot, industrial lot, farmland, whatever it is, I personally target from a shotgun approach. And then we're going to type in the state it's in and we're going to click Butler County here. And then once you're here, you can target whatever acreage. I like to do this vacant land search with the acreage. So I can do one to five and you can keep compiling things onto here. So if I'm doing one to five, I can do the last sale date. Let's just say from 1994 to let's say 2024 just like that and it will automatically change these dates. So it's filled out like this for the sake of this video. I'm not going to do the last sale date but you can, you can do even subdivisions, land use activities, like I said, the description. So you can see camping, healthcare, livestock, all this, you can go down, you can select multiple things in here if you wanted to, residential, primary residence, whatever it is. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna keep it pretty simple for you guys, but play around with these filters. Once you have all your filters in there based on your market selection, you can hit apply. So as you see in the bottom left here, my selection gave me 2,483 results. I can click this in the list view and see all of the different results that came on and scroll through them, or I can also show them on a map. So now on the map, all of my results are shown. I filtered it from two to five acres. I changed it from one to five just to get less results so I could show you better on the map. And if you scroll over them, you can see the owner's name, you can see the acreage, you can see the different property types. But actually what I like to do in this step is zoom in to specific properties and just make sure that my filters are working properly. So as you see here, it gave me two vacant lots here. These are obviously vacant, there's no house on it. Give me two more over here. These are vacant as well. You can click into one of the properties and you can scroll down, look at all the information, look at the land use zoning, classified as agricultural vacant land, minimal flood hazard. And you can just go through and look at all the different information that this property card provides you. And this is the property card on the left. So when you're looking at properties, you can always pull this up and see exactly what is coming on. And on a side note, a really cool feature related to the land portal is this one click skip trace button. You can actually pull this up, click this button to get his phone number. It's gonna automatically fill the information. 
So you can hit confirm on your order and it will spit out their phone numbers just right here and then it will store in the property card as well so you have those in there. And then if you wanted to call a neighbor or a property behind yours, you can do that. It's a very, very convenient button to have right here. But anyways, let's keep moving on. So I feel comfortable now that all of these on the map are vacant land. So the next step I have to do is go to back to list view and I'm actually going to export all 1200 of these. So if you didn't want some, you could unclick them here or you could go back to your filtered search and refine them. I recommend doing that when you can. So either go back to your filtered search or unselect the ones you don't want. Like I said, we're doing a broad approach here. So we're targeting 1200 at once, which is fairly normal for us. If you want 100, you can really, really refine and get granular on this. So once I'm ready to go and I feel good about the data, I'm gonna export the data. You can either remove duplicates and remove data without mailing addresses. I do not want any data without mailing addresses because I send mail, so I wanna hit that. And I'm also gonna remove duplicates because I do not want multiple owners. I don't wanna send three, four texts to the same people. So by removing duplicates, it removes owners with more than one property in the export that you have. So I'm just want one property from each of them. And then once I'm ready to go with that, I'm going to hit confirm. It is ready in your downloads. You can click this button in the downloads or it will store for, I believe, 90 days in your order history. So you can go over to your order history. You see an order on March 20th download the order and you can open up the Butler County, Ohio file. So once you open up your file, this is where it spits out all of the information you have. You can scroll through these and see all just over a thousand records, just about a thousand records I have after removing duplicates. And you can see at the top here, you have the lot acreage, lot square foot, parcel number, and you can read through and go through all this information. But now we have all of the records in the county that were between two to five acres and vacant land in one spreadsheet, which is very powerful. Now I can target this list to try to buy the land under market value. And you can go through and see exactly what these are classified as. And there's sometimes cool information in here you can look at as well. Most of this information is in the property card that I showed you guys a little bit ago, but scroll through, see what you guys are working with. Sometimes there's very cool things in here. And there you have it. Now we have a list of a thousand targeted records in Butler County, Ohio, between two to five acres, which is exactly the area and the type of land I want to acquire for under market value. Now I'm going to mail, I'm going to text, I'm going to cold call these leads to try to get deals. And this list is very powerful. So if you're going to cold call or text, you'll need to do one step after this and that's called skip tracing. Skip tracing is a tab here on the left and it's where you use all of the records we just imported to get the phone numbers. So once you're ready to import your file, you can click on this and go to import your CSV file, it must be CSV. So if you're using XLSX or anything of that nature, you can go to Excel and just save as .csv. That's for the imports here. Then once you're ready, you can import your file here, click next and follow the instructions. So now it's gonna ask you which ones are the last names. So based on the header that we had here, it's going to ask you what the last name is based on these headers and we just have to line everything up. So it's a very simple process. It can take a little bit of time, but I know that the owner one last name, first name, and you can search, which is a very cool feature here too. Just search mailing address, mailing city, state. So now I have the last name, the first name, mailing address, mailing city, mailing state, mailing zip. And then I have the parcel information, the address, the city, the state, the zip as well. And you wanna make sure those are all lined up properly because that's how it's going to work. Once I'm ready to go with this, I can hit place order and it'll tell you the total amount at the top here. I'm only doing 20 records because you are charged by the line here. So I'm gonna keep it small and this will take some time to process. So now you can see your order is processing here. It's only 20 lines, so it shouldn't be long at all. What it's doing, it's connecting to other databases and trying to find the accurate phone number for that information. All right, and as you can see, we had 19 out of 20 hits. Skip tracing is not 100% hit because if it does not feel confident and it cannot find the record, something was wrong, the address might've been off, the zip code, whatever it is, that's okay though. We got 19 out of 20 results here. So now I can download as an XLSS. I'm gonna click this. It's going to download and then I'm going to open up the CSV file that I just downloaded. As you see here, I have all of the phone numbers, the phone types, phone two, phone one, phone three, phone one, phone two, phone three. And then I even have email addresses if there's matched, relative names, relative phone numbers, gender, age. It's very powerful information when you talk about targeting that you can get here. So scroll through all of these. There's so much data to have here and demographics that you can really work off of. But for the most part, you guys just want phone numbers to text and cold call. So you have that now as well. For your marketing campaigns, you have all of these phone numbers ready to go. All right, now you have the property records you want. You can send mail, you can cold call, or you can text. You have the phone numbers and you have all the records you need. So that's how to get all the property records to start your mailing or marketing campaigns. If you don't mind, please hit the like and subscribe button below. It really helps promote our channel and take our mission to the next level. Hope you guys find this useful. Thank you for joining.